I think music helps us because it's the stamp of humanity as a queer person or any marginalized person. If within your own nuclear family you're not seen for who you are, you can find someone who sees you in art. When I first started with Spoken Word, I was really explicitly telling stories of my own trauma and people related to them. But with music, I really appreciate that like, it's mostly a metaphor. And I like that that gives people the space to come at it from whatever they've felt because pain is universal. I love that music affords just like a more gentle way of saying, I'm a human, these are little nuggets of what I've experienced and maybe you can relate. Life is hard. <laughs> it's hard and it's beautiful, you know? Any place that we say that health, mental health matters, it's really important. I feel like kids today more than ever are hurting. They're depressed. It's a really, really weird time to come up with the internet the way it is and with the pandemic and the loneliness and the high standards and the cancel culture. I think it's important that you work with people in your business who care about your health. And I'm trying to make sure that the people who are around me are people who care about my health and I really think that I have that. I myself have found music to be the best company when I don't have another resource. We love artists, we love these albums, and sometimes they come from mental health issues. So I hope to see lots more organizations for support of mental health and also health health, because those things go hand in hand. I think it's important to share stories of hope because people have got to know that life goes on and it gets better. Whatever your little slice of the pie is, whatever you struggle with, if you're down to talk about it without exposing yourself so much that you're reopening a wound over and over again, it can be just really encouraging for somebody who's going through the same thing. Once you do share in a caring environment or in a small community that is focused on receiving your story, chances are you're not alone. Chances are out of all of the feelings a human can have, you share them <laughs> with at least one person in the room. And maybe you haven't experienced the same traumatic events, but you know, trauma is trauma. And all of those things are things that people can relate to on whatever scale. It's universal at the end of the day. Therapy's for everybody. Mental health is something everybody has to look out for and take care of. What do I do to maintain my mental health? Well, one of them is they're called emotional support animals for a reason. This is Julieta Hinikato. She is a princess. And as a human, she keeps me very, very grounded. Having something to take care of is great, even if it's just a tiny plant that would not even die if you didn't take care of it. Just putting your attention on something else every once in a while to be reminded that your problems aren't so big. Like, there she goes. Throughout the pandemic, I have really enjoyed actually finding ways to connect through Zoom and stuff because I really got to like take stock of who is my family. It's been really cool to reconnect with like what my actual nuclear community is and lean on them a little bit. I'll Follow You Into the Dark by Death Cab for Cutie is important to me because it saw me through like my initial <laughs> bouts with my own mental life, which like most very young people came with hormones and heartbreak. It also just, like I said, it has like lyrics in it that I think were bigger than me at the time that have really stood by me. I just know how much words can do and I think it's the most like powerful thing as an artist to choose to commit words to song that either can like gloss over you mm -hmm. while you're sitting in a car and think nothing of it and then like one day it just drops in your brain as the most important guidance you've ever had and folk songs in general always just like talk about the human experience just hearing somebody sing I'll follow you into the dark is like I want company in my pain and that can be a super dangerous thing also to like trauma bond with someone who or to connect with someone because you are hurting but it also can be super crucial and a really 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 strong foundation for trust and like to feel seen for how life is hard it goes a really really long way and that song saw me. Kat Connie here with Andre Vasconcelos and he's my favorite person to play with so you're very lucky. Hit it. Above mine, someday you will die. But I'll be close behind. I'll follow you into the dark. No blinding lights or tunnels or gates so wide. Just our hands clasped so tight. Oh, the hint of a 
spark If heaven and hell decide That they both are satisfied Illuminate the nose On their vacancy signs If there's no one beside you When your soul embarks Then I will follow you Catholic school, this is his Roman rule. I had my knuckles bruised by a lady in black. I held my tongue as she told me, son, fear is the heart of a love. So I never went back. If heaven and hell decide that they both satisfied illuminate the nose on their vacancy signs if there's no one beside you when your soul embarks and I will follow you into the dark you and me we've seen everything to see from Bangkok All worn down The time for sleep is it now It's nothing to cry about Cause we'll hold each other soon In the blackest rooms If heaven and hell decide That they both are satisfied Illuminate the nose on the vacancy signs If there's no one beside you When your soul embarks Then I will follow you into the dark I will follow you into the dark yeah, I will follow you into the dark <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs>